here in horse country. The dogs hope to continue their good fortune as head coach Mark Fox brings his best start to a season since arriving at Athens to the frozen pastures of Lexington for Georgia's SEC opener. Awaiting the dogs this evening is 15th ranked Kentucky. Georgia's last win here at Rupp was back in 2009, but the dogs pushed the Cats here a year ago, coming up just short 90-81 in overtime. It's 18 degrees outside here in Lexington, but as the 23,000 plus begin to file into Rupp in anticipation of the SEC home opener, things are starting to heat up. Defend our home four, and by that I mean we're unbeaten here, 6-0 and this season, so let's keep it that way but you've got to defend against Ole Miss. They're fifth in the league in scoring. And hi again, everyone, and welcome to another night of Georgia Bulldogs basketball tonight from Stegman Coliseum in Athens. It's the SEC home opener for the Georgia Bulldogs. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. DirecTV has been rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable for 17 years running. But some people still like cable, just like some people like pre-shaken sodas, <laughs> having their seat kicked on an airplane, being rammed by a shopping cart, <laughs> sitting in gum, and walking into a glass door. Yeah. But for everyone else, there's DirecTV. For number one rated customer satisfaction over cable, switch to DirecTV and get a $200 reward card. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey, Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible, and we need to use it all the time. Awesome. I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. outside here in Lexington, but as the 23,000 plus begin to file into Rupp in anticipation of the SEC home opener, things are starting to heat up. It's the dogs and the 15th ranked cats as an appetizer to your New Year festivities as we put a bow on 2017 with the next edition of Georgia Basketball. Kentucky uh, played the other day against a rival. They're in a groove. They're playing as well as they've ever uh, as they've played all year. And so, you know, I think uh, they've hit midseason form, and hopefully our team will, will uh, do the same.
Tony Green tosses it up, and Turtle Jackson controls again. A dump down to Ogbede, puts up the jump shot and scores from the left side. Nice little give and go by the dogs to get it started, Slime. The Georgia Bulldogs have raced out to a 6-0 early lead. Poked out on the entry pass to Ogbede, running the four is green in space and scores easily at the rim. And Kentucky has their first lead of the game, 12-10 Cats. Picked up by Hightower, the leave on the left side of the jam from Hammonds, and the foul. Green up top, playing a little pitch and catch with Gilgis Alexander at the rim. It's good, and it's a foul. Steal by Parker, coast to coast at the rim, protects the ball and scores. Dogs up five. Turtle with the basketball for Georgia, high screen, five, four, Turtle on the right side, three, two, one, shot on the way, no good, and we will go into halftime with Georgia leading Kentucky 27 to 26 here at Rupp Arena. I'll take holding Kentucky to 26 points at halftime in a one-point lead. As right now, the dogs have got to come out sharp here. The first five minutes of the second half is going to be critical. Our defense will be away from our bench. Play to your strength. Get the ball inside, get those inside touches, take higher percentage shots. Turtle Jackson across the near boundary. He pulls up for three on the near side and scores. Two quick threes to start the second half for Georgia. Maybe a little different second half than we saw in the first half. Completely different side. <laughs> a lot of scoring going so far. To Ogbede, he gets free, uses the glass, scores, and is fouled from the left side. Nice move there, a lead for Yante underneath, puts it up off the glass and scores. How <laughs> like did he do said, that slide? Just like I said, penetrate the gap, find Yante Maiden, what a play, what a finish. Three ball on the way, dagger. And the Georgia Bulldogs come up just short here in Rupp Arena on New Year's Eve, 66-61 to 15th ranked Kentucky. Things and just couldn't close it out down the stretch. Kentucky made some good plays and uh, hard fought games. The dogs really gave it everything they had tonight. You know, I think we have a team that when we are locked in mentally um, can be a good defensive team. I thought we made some real critical errors that cost us some points. And uh, ultimately, probably, had we not made those errors, we could have overcome our shooting woes and won the game. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible and we need to use it all the time. Awesome, I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. Stephanie Paul in the lane for five feet, he scores, and Georgia wins, a thrilling finish. Three head of the key, she got it, turn fade, it's good at the buzzer.
so thankful and grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Adversity is a way to truly define someone how they stand up and face hardships, how they focus and push through. Growing up in Pontiac, Michigan, Yante Mayton had no option but to grow up at a young age, taking on responsibilities and making sacrifices that many couldn't handle. Although Mayton was a father figure to his little sister, he too grew up without his father being heavily involved.
Stephanie Paul in the lane for five feet. He scores, and Georgia wins. A thrilling finish. Three head of the key. She got it. Turn fade. It's good at the buzzer. DirecTV has been rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable for 17 years running. But some people still like cable, just like some people like pre-shaken sodas, <laughs> having their seat kicked on an airplane, being rammed by a shopping cart, <laughs> sitting in gum, and walking into a glass door. Yeah. But for everyone else, there's DirecTV. For number one rated customer satisfaction over cable, switch to DirecTV and get a $200 reward card. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. A long way from 79 to 82. <laughs> well, it definitely would enhance it greatly because you know, you know, kids love to come to a beautiful arena and and have the ability to say, hey, you know, I played here. You know, this is somewhere that they they can be proud of, and that's what the universities do. That's what it's supposed to be—a place where you come to be proud to play. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Uh, we got to move forward. We got a lot of games left. That's when you have to bounce back, you know, and, and you know, look at where you at and get a good understanding and, and do do the right things. We keep our mentality. Ole Miss has a terrific offensive team. Uh, their perimeter players are outstanding. I think they've really found their niche. They've won a few in a row, and uh, obviously um, they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Defend our home four, and by that I mean we're unbeaten here, 6-0 and oh, this season, so let's keep it that way, but you've got to defend against Ole Miss. They're fifth in the league in scoring. They average 82. We're averaging 74. That math doesn't work. we got to play defense. And hi again, everyone, and welcome to another night of Georgia Bulldogs basketball tonight from Stegman Coliseum in Athens. It's the SEC home opener for the Georgia Bulldogs. All right, here we go. The opening tap controlled by the dogs and Derek Ogbede. Georgia will have the first possession of the ball game. Turn to man to man, we find Ogbede on the block, jump hook, line drive, rolls off the back iron and through the hoop. Good for the first points of the ball game on the left wing, gets a screen from Mayton, gives Yante the ball, he drives to the basket, one-handed slammeroo. Dunk you very much. Makes the three, goes on the baseline, Claxton takes a long two, baseline, knocks it down, he rattled it in there. Rebels ball, Burnett driving in from the wing, stumbles and falls, and the dogs take away a loose bouncing ball, Harris has got it, pulls up for a two, knocks it down with a left hand left of the circle. Harris has hit a couple of buckets here. Hightower pushes it into the front court. Goes to Jawan. Wide open three and a rare three pointer by Jawan Parker. Well, dogs are uh, out of here with an eight point lead at intermission and, and fortunate to have that because did not play their best basketball by any stretch of the imagination. However, started to show signs of being a little more aggressive on the glass. Dog fans. I came back for New Year's to see our boys play at Ole Miss, and I just want us to continue to support them, continue to be behind them. All right, getting ready to start the second half. Georgia with an eight-point lead over Ole Miss in the SEC home opener. Turtle straightaway three. Good! Well, there you go. We needed that. Parker, he dribbles with a left hand, gets a screen from Big O. Give it to Derek. Left block, leans in, scores off the window. Good. You know, if you practice well, usually it carries over into games. And, and, uh, and tonight you saw that with Jordan. And he, he um, 
he was really good for us um, at both ends, not, not just as a scorer, but he was good defensively as well. Blocked by Jordan Harris. Feeds it into Ogbede. Jump hook with the left hand, good. Rolls over the rim. Puts it back in the left corner. Turtle for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound tapped up and controlled by Ogbede. He splits the D and leans in and scores on an easy layup. Four with three. Juwan deep three. Good! Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. He had it all the way, didn't he? <laughs> Our bench it, it was, was key for us, and, and it's one of the things that we feel like is a strength of our team. And Juwan, obviously, um, was very good tonight. He's been shooting the ball so well, and so it wasn't a surprise for us to see it happen. He just needed to see a couple go in and relax. 71 to 60, our final, as the Dogs win their SEC home opener, even the record in conference play at one and one, pick up their 10th win of the season. But tonight was a hard-fought SEC game. Oh, I mean, I, we're confident in both our guards and the bigs inside and out. So, you know, we, we play the game, how, how it flows. And, you know, we try to take advantage of it both ways. I feel fortunate to be um, a team that was playing very well coming in here and a team that in Coach Kennedy's always has really good teams. Do we feel very fortunate with the win? DirecTV has been rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable for 17 years running. But some people still like cable, just like some people like free shaken sodas, <laughs> having their seat kicked on an airplane, being rammed by a shopping cart, <laughs> sitting in gum, and walking into a glass door. <laughs> but for everyone else, there's DirecTV. For number one rated customer satisfaction over cable, switch to DirecTV and get a $200 reward card. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. A long way from 79 to 82. <laughs> well, it definitely would enhance it greatly because, you know, you know, kids love to come to a beautiful arena and, and have the ability to say, hey, you know, I played here. You know, this is somewhere that they, they can be proud of. And that's what universities do. That's what it's supposed to be, a place where you come to be proud to play. I'm so thankful and grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs! It's what gets us up early and sets us into motion every single day. It's commitment, and it starts with just showing up. Mornings in the gym, nights in the lab, and all day, every day. It's why we fight a little harder, aim a little higher, and reach a little further. Because with every solution, every realization, and every time we commit to perfection, we find greatness. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Alabama has a very talented basketball team. They have great size, uh, terrific athleticism, great quickness. Uh, they have, um, I think, balance amongst their positions. And so a very talented team. And um, we'll have to play extremely well at both ends. Um, yeah, but um, it should be another hard-fought SEC game. Well, they're very talented. Every player on their roster can score, can put the ball on the ground, you know, they're long, they're athletic, they're just a bunch of tough-nosed guys, so, you know, we pride ourselves on being tough, so it'll be a challenge on that part. We've been treating it like every game, just um, going through scout team and learning uh, the things that they do and just trying to prepare ourselves to win. We have to be uh, good and solid defensively. We have to be efficient offensively, and, and we have to be able to do those things consistently throughout the game uh, to win. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another afternoon of Georgia Bulldogs basketball today from Stegman Coliseum in Athens as 10-3 Georgia, 1-1 one one in the SEC, will host 9-5 Alabama, also 1-1 one one in conference play. It's Georgia and Alabama, part one for the weekend. So you better get started with a win here this afternoon. Now, this is a talented basketball team. The dogs have their work cut out for them. This ought to be a great game. It's going to be a packed house. People. Here's the toss and the tip. Hit on the way down by Alabama. They'll control it. To make wide open three straight away. Knocks it down and that's how this one begins. 
turn, jump hook, left hand, good! Made an open floater from the block, one go, tapped by Agbede, no good, offensive rebound on by himself, but he puts it back up and in. Spins on the block, jump hook with the left hand, good! Count it! Straight away three, flat, oh my goodness, he missed it, but look at Big Derek with the follow and a two-handed monster dunk! Gonna take a deep long three. He got it. He got it. Oh my goodness. Well, Hammond's along the baseline. Reverse lay in good. And Yate with a three. Left corner three. Good. Jump pass a bullet to Hammond for a three. Good. Oh, wow. Sprints into the front court at the horn. Three ball. The way the half ends. Lobs it out to Wilrich, a three ball, right side. Maiden with a rebound and a one handed stuff. Spins to the basket, leans in and knocks down an eight footer. Head fake. Oh, and a drive down the right side and a one handed jam. Jump hook off the right block with a left hand good. With a resounding win over Alabama, 65 46, the dogs. Stem the tide from start to finish today. Really good first half by our team uh, today. I thought uh, at both ends we played um, played very well and were able to build a big lead uh, versus a, a good Alabama team. But but um, it's a great great win for us because we have a lot of respect for Alabama's team and their talent and their coach and and uh, so it's a good win for Georgia. A lot of energy, you know. Uh, having a crowd like that is just fun to play in. You know, when, once the team get going, the crowd get going, then it's gonna be hard to stop.